today we're gonna talk about homeschooling, more homeschooling. So what has happened since our last homeschooling video? Well, there's my son right there who <laughs> is super ready to get back to regular school because he's in conventional school and brick and mortar. And Alex, how did you like online learning? He hates it. And then I have this child here who is my homeschooling student. She goes to Florida Virtual. So we are a blended family when it comes to school. So we're just talking about all of the chaos going right now in the state of Florida because we still don't really know what's going on. Santa's our governor, has said that schools have to go back in, but parents are super uncertain if they feel comfortable sending their kids to school. Um, my husband is talking about people at work who are freaking out because they're not ready for their kids to go back to school and they don't know what's going on. So, you know, Florida virtual, that's what we do. Um, you know, my advice for people, I've been getting a ton of new subscribers, a ton of private messages about our homeschooling. And so some advice for you guys, I would say if you are not comfortable today, it's not going to get any better in a month. Because think about what it was like a month ago. Right, husband? Yep. It wasn't good a month ago. It's not going to get any better. It's not going to change. So don't let fear make your deciding factors over this. But if you truly do want to get into Florida virtual and homeschooling, I would say let's do it now. So what I've told people, I've told my friends that are going to homeschool their kids, what you need to do right now is you need to get in contact with your home school, the school that your kids go to currently, and you need to get in contact with your county liaison. So that's step number one, call the county. Um, we are in Charlotte County and our liaison, her name's Leanne, and I basically went to our county website for the schools and I searched homeschool and it comes up with their direct phone number or you can call your county's administration and ask for the homeschool liaison and there is a form called intent to homeschool. Fill it out, send it in, the school gets notified and then you can call Florida Virtual Flex and put them in that and that's what I would, su I would suggest everybody do is flex. I would not suggest do full time. Full time you have to do a full go up, do a bunch of hoops and you have to submit like shot records and you have to get approved and there's a whole application status. I would just flip them over to flex, especially if you think you might go back to public school, switch them over to flex and put them in the four core classes, science, math, history, and language arts. That's all they need. Um, you can take two more classes. You can do an elective, but I would I would tell you to not do that for your kid. Don't put them through the extra stress. Just get them in those four core classes now. Um, I do think that there are a lot of people right now signing up. So I think time is of the essence to make sure that you get a spot in Flex. Um, so once you get into there, once you get to sign up for Flex, I'd call them, let them walk you through it. And then once you get in there, I could you could pick your county's virtual school. Um, so our county Charlotte. So when I go in there and I pick classes, I pick I can either pick Florida Virtual or Charlotte Virtual. Um, this year we are picking Charlotte Virtual for like science and math because most of the counties, your Charlotte Virtual teachers are local, and you can go to school or our in our county it's our votech our vocational technical school and they can do labs hands-on meet their teachers meet some of the other kids in their classes um and obviously it would be a much smaller smaller group of people and i'm assuming they'll probably make some changes because of coronavirus they're gonna probably have you come in at a certain time so you don't see other people um not 100 sure how that's gonna work but I'm assuming that that's how it's going to work. So that's what I suggest you guys do. So if that is something you want to do, sorry guys, I had to do something. Back on the subject. So right now where we're at, today is July 10th. I'm sure when I get this posted tomorrow or the next day, you know, 
nothing's going to have changed. And I really don't think the world's going to change. I don't think anything's going to change. I don't really personally like the idea of sending the kid to school with a mask on their face 24-7. I don't like that. Um, I'm not necessarily afraid of the virus, but I'm afraid of what they're going to turn school into. Um, my other child, I'm trying to get him to move over. He's going to go into sixth grade. I'm hoping he goes into middle school and he gets sick of it and he wants to go to Florida virtual. But at this point, I'm going to kind of let him do his thing and hopefully he figures out. But my daughter definitely is going to stay at Florida virtual. She will be in eighth grade. We're super excited. We start August 5th. So something about Florida virtual too, when you go in there and you sign them up for classes, you pick when they start school. So if your kid's bored at home right now and you know you're gonna do homeschool, sign them up to start now. Why not, right? So anyway, super quick video. I really appreciate everybody's comments. Thumbs up, subscribe to our page. Um, never thought a couple of videos would get so many views and so many people interested into the Florida virtual. I literally just put, put, put the videos up because I had zero resources to help me when we started Florida Virtual. So um, with that being said, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.